live look in the midtown of Quincy. Looks nice and calm, but it's kind of windy out, and you can see the camel kind of camera, not the camel, the camera <laughs> kind of jostle around there. So I have learned since the top of the show uh, 12 minutes ago, you didn't get my reference of Lindsay moving on up. I didn't, and I like the Jeffersons, which and is weird. That was it. The Jeffersons owned a dry cleaning business, mm -hmm. and the theme song, Moving On Up. I think my face went, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's how I learned it, because you told me. I, what, what was that thing? Yeah. So that was, that was the reference. It's a good reference. When you hear the term dry clean only, mm -hmm. You think know what it means? Got it. No. I, it means take to the dry cleaners. I, I it means it. that I hand wash it in the sink and hope that it doesn't shrink or get nubby. No, oh, no. Nubby? Yeah. I don't want any of my clothes to get nubby. <laughs> I just take it to the dry cleaners. And that's where we find Lindsay this morning. Because dry cleaning only doesn't only refer to clothes. Some other things can uh, not be washed at home but need to be dry cleaned only as well. Good morning, Mrs. Jefferson. <laughs> I, you know, I didn't get that reference either. I you young didn't, pups. Even after you said, I didn't hear it, first of all. And then it's kind of loud in here, so uh, Tegan that's says why she I didn't got hear it. it. But, what? Tegan said she got the reference, so she's old like yeah, me. I, <laughs> High <yeah>. five. <laughs> now I get it, but uh, I didn't before. But yeah, we are uh, in the mid middle of the store. There's tons of your clothing here, probably, if you bring your clothes to Warner's. Uh, but. They do more than just clothes. They do drapery, which is really, really neat. It's a huge machine. Uh, and Linda Bard is going to join me now. And this is a family business. Yes. Um, explain a little bit about, first of all, the family. Oh, um, the business was started by my brother and my father. Um, my dad was in dry cleaning for well over 50 years. From the time he was 10 years old as a child, he cleaned collars in a dry cleaners on 12th and Vermont even. Um, so it's been a legacy that has been handed down. My dad was brilliant at what he did and had built a great reputation. And so fortunately for my brother and I, we have inherited that. Um, and so we've been in business here at this location for over 20 years. Um, we also have dry stores, pick up places at both Hy-Vee's and at County Market and Canton and County Market at, 24, uh, at 48th and Broadway. Awesome. Now, explain a little bit about what this whole thing is. Okay. Um, one of our uh, pride and joys is the way that we're able to do draperies. Uh, Jill has been with us for over 17 years, and she has she does a wonderful job at doing our draperies. First of all, your draperies come in. They are measured uh, length and width to know where we are existing at the beginning. She then inspects them for sun damage to make sure that we'll be able to clean them successfully so that they don't fall apart. Uh, we then dry clean them, and they're totally immersed in our dry cleaning sol solvent, um, and then they come out clean and fresh. We are able to then reintroduce the natural oils and, and get rid of the dust and all of those things that you don't want. Uh, then Jill presses them um, on our presses in the back, and then she brings them here to the draper unit. Um, she has previously measured and calculated all of the, the pleats in your drapes so that she knows just exactly where it should go. She puts them on here. Um, she has already calculated. She sets the blocks mm -hmm. and then she she locks them in. Then after she's got that completely finished, uh, she brings the the face of the drapery unit down mm -hmm. um, and then they're steamed and then they're air dried and that locks in your pleats. And then when she's finished, they look pristine just mm -hmm. like this and ready to hang. Um, it's a remarkable process and it's now it's springtime. It's a great time to think about doing that. And now this is a very tall unit. Yes, it goes up through the roof of, and we can do draperies that are, are 10 feet high. Wow. Wow. That's really neat. And there's measurements on there too. Uh -huh. um, so how many pleats would this one, does this one have? Uh, Jill, what would, how many would that be? We can hold up to 65 pleats. Wow. Up to 65 pleats. It, very, very neat. And you guys do a lot of clothing here too so yes, we're going to we talk do. about that here mm -hmm. um, coming up in the next half hour and we're also going to press some shirts also which is really I find it really really interesting. Yeah, Lindsay you've been excited about this press shirts all day I'm pretty excited <laughs> about it now too. Why did I not bring I my know. laundry to you? <laughs> I don't know I saw Mine's it in once in it, and it just looks really cool. 612 on a Tuesday morning welcome back to KHQA this morning I'm Chad Douglas Hannah McNeff alongside I don't know what I hate worse, either doing the laundry or actually ironing my clothes afterwards. Take them to a dry cleaner. You don't have to iron them. This is why. Lindsay? <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we're in the back room. It's really, really warm back here. So uh, in the summer, I can't imagine how hot it gets back here. But for right now, it feels really good. There's a, a lot of ironing boards, a lot of pressing machines. And then there's this machine back here. Linda Barta joins me now. Uh, 
explain a little bit about what this machine does. Okay, this is our shirt unit. Um, it's a double buck system. Uh, you, we process the shirts wet. Um, the first machine is for collars and cuffs. Um, the, she puts the collar and cuffs down, the press comes down and presses that part wet. She goes then to the second machine, which is the sleever, um, and they put the sleeve straight down on the unit. It goes in and presses your sleeves. From there, she goes to the other side and dresses the buck that you're seeing right now, and it goes in and presses the front and the back of the shirt. Um, if we're successful, the shirts don't require any touch-up. But after that, um, if there's some wrinkles any place that we have or imperfections in the processing, those are brought over to the irons and the girls touch those up. Oh, we work really hard to put out a really good quality shirt. Um, when you come into our business um, and you bring your shirts in, um, you ask for no starch, light starch, no or medium starch, heavy starch. We'll do whatever you want to. Uh, that's done in the wash part. Um, we do scrub your collars. We look for stains and remove those. Um, if the, when they are processing the shirt, they find a stain, it gets kicked out, and we try it all over again. Um, it's a dollar seventy-five for any woman. I would never stand at an ironing board if I could get it done for that cheap. Uh, but we do take good pride in what we're doing. Uh, we can do as many as about 50 shirts an hour. But some ladies uh, set a record, kind of. Oh yeah, we had one day that we had two of our girls that really went to town and they did 90 shirts in an hour. Wow, that's, that's amazing. Uh, why is it so important to do the shirts wet? Oh, because that's how it gets finished and it's, uh, it's the, the heat and the steam, the combination that which gives it a firm, good, secure press. And especially for starch shirts, that's how it gets that nice stiffness. And now you can't just starch the collars and the cuff. No, that goes in in the wash water and it, we divide those shirts, they all get washed separately um, so that the starch is appropriate for those shirts. Now you have this big machine, but you also have um, some other machines over here. What, okay. what are those? All right, those are standard presses for our standard clothes. Um, we have what's called the Suzy, and that's like a form uh, that we put coats and dresses and things that, that get steamed on there. Um, and then we have what's called a mushroom that does the top part of a garment. Uh, we also then have the presses. We have to make sure that those men's pants don't have double creases or anything like that, and Dave's up there working on those. Great, sounds good. And we're going to come back and talk to you a little bit later about the whole entire dry cleaning process uh, here coming up in the next half hour. Lindy, thank you so much. I had no idea that this went on inside of a dry cleaner. So good mm -hmm. eye on a dry cleaner. Yeah, fascinating. It <laughs> is. Now, if you wanted to you I know, told you. The, you skip the dry cleaning today and hang your laundry out, you could dry it for good. free today because it's mm -hmm. going to be very windy. Just make sure they're pin tightly on your clothes Welcome line. back. 641 is your time. There's a live look at our control room. Good morning, everyone, and thanks for all your hard work back there this morning. There are a lot of steps to dry cleaning a shirt. I am not familiar with any of them. I'm curious why they call it dry cleaning, because you know they have to wet it down. Well, I true, think. but we're going to find out all we need to know, because Lindsay is live this morning dry cleaning some shirts. Good morning, Lynn. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, not only shirts, jackets, pants, uh, you name it, it's here. We've got wedding dresses that they've restored. Um, we did draperies earlier in the morning, and now we're loading another load into this huge machine that um, is the dry cleaning machine. Now, Linda, explain a little bit about the machine. Okay, um, the chemical that we use is what's called PERC. Um, for laymen, uh, it's kind of hard to understand. Uh, it is a liquid. Mm -hmm. However, it would be like gasoline that it evaporates on in the air um, and so that way it is a dry chemical and so your clothes are not getting washed they're being dry cleaned there's no water involved in that process at all that's what keeps it from getting shrunk mm -hmm. and that sort of thing too um, but it goes into the dry cleaning machine um, it's then it would be like a washing machine only with dry chemical mm -hmm. um, and then we have already pre-spotted these clothes so that your stains are already removed and then it's dry cleaned that's rinsed out and then um, it comes out and it's hung and put back with your order ready to be pressed after that. Um, as far as the dry cleaning function of the machine, the chemical then is recycled. Um, it goes through filters and it's cleaned all up so that all the moisture, all the lint, all of the, the soil that has come from your clothes is then cleaned up by the machine. Go now ahead. spot removal is kind of like being a chemist. Exactly, exactly. Um, there are different chemicals that are for uh, 
coffee, different chemicals for lipstick, for ink, all of those kinds of things, and our guys are trained to deal with those. There are special ways that you deal with different fabrics, like you do not use some chemicals on silks and rayons. Um, some chemicals are not safe for that, that pulse color. Um, it's our job to know what we can do and what the parameters are. And it's really important if you know what you spilled on your clothes. Yeah, if you go to the dry cleaners and you say, this is raspberry vinaigrette, that is a huge help for me because I know exactly what to do with your clothes. If you've spilled white wine, please tell us because you can't see that on your clothes, but we know how to get it out. Uh, red wine, the same thing. Um, ink is a big deal. And sometimes the best thing, that best advice I can give you is if you have a stain, don't do anything to it. <laughs> Bring it to us as soon as you can and tell us what it is. All right, Linda, real quick, what is your favorite part of the job? Uh, probably the restoration work. Mm -hmm. um, we get a real big kick out of taking old things and restoring them back to new. Um, this wedding gown is from the 1800s. It was almost orange when we got it. Mm -hmm. It was so yellowed and discolored, and we've been able to restore that, and a young lady wore her great-great-grandmother's dress. That gives us a big kick. Really, really nice stuff. Thank you very much for having us out here Thank this morning. You. It's a privilege. And um, learning a lot about the dry cleaning business this morning. That Guys, a great story. Yeah, it kind of gives me chills. <laughs> My grandmother's That's dress really neat. How much we've yeah, And she to... actually, she actually wore a different dress for the reception, so she could wear um, her great gra great great grandma. Yes. Yeah, great great grandmother's dress for the wedding, and then she had another dress mm -hmm. for the party. And then she could bring it to the dry cleaners and have it cleaned with all the stains <laughs> she got at the reception. <laughs> exactly. All right. Thanks, Liz.